Here we're looking at a contact record in Salesforce, and I'd like to update the bank account details for this contact, account ID, account type fields. But that info does not exist in Salesforce. It is stored in an external database and exposed via an open standards-based web service. There are methods available in this web service to create, read, update, delete account your typical CRUD functions. We will now access this service to create an account and update the account info in Salesforce. First, we need to configure the connection details in the external services section. New external service. Choose API specification since you're accessing the standard open API service directly and not through a proxy layer. Next, you give it a name, provide description, select the authentication mechanism and a relative schema URL so that the schema can be downloaded locally here. Once created, the service will display the actions that are available to be called from inside Salesforce. Flow, for example. Now let us use the external service that we created in a lightning flow. This is a guided screen flow that takes account last name and account type from the user and calls add account method on the web service. This is the method our flow would call it returns one of the status codes back. Example 201 if the account creation is a success, 409 if a duplicate account is found. In this add account step, we pass the account name and type and assign the response code to a local variable. Based on the response from our external service to, to the add account action, we have the decision element to take this to the appropriate route. If a duplicate account is found, we simply update the contact record within Salesforce with, with that account info. Let us see this flow in action inside a contact detail page. Enter the last name in account type. For convenience, you can also pre-populate the last name, but I have not done for this demo. Paul Partner already exists in the external database, so the flow would just update the account ID and type in the fields below. That's it. What we just saw is a powerful no-code way to invoke an existing standards-based REST service from within our workflow in Salesforce. Using this approach, you can build simple to complex processes that leverage logic and or data that is hosted externally outside of Salesforce.